Hi, I'm Lance Henriksen. You're watching Brian Lomax's Movie Talk. So one of the current news stories is that apparently they are going to be making, or they've made, in, the, in Star Trek Beyond, the new Star Trek movie just due to be released pretty soon, they're making the character of Sulu gay. Um, now, this probably wouldn't be that big a news story if it wasn't for the fact that the actor who had previously played him for, well, decades, um, was against this decision. <laughs> Um, and that is made even more kind of bizarre by the fact that he himself in real life is gay. It's George Takai, he obviously came out a few years ago. But he's gay against the decision to make Sulu gay. He advised against it, um, which is, yeah, a bit bizarre to me. Uh, I don't know if it's... Uh, publicity stunt to draw more media attention to the fact that they've made him gay, I don't know, but yeah, there you go. I, I mean, to me personally, I don't really see what difference it makes. One, he's a periphery character, he always has been. Um, you know, the, the fact of the matter is, Star Trek was always about Kirk, Spock and McCoy. That was, the, they were the central three there, like that was the central relationship kind of trifecta if you like within the show and even the movies maybe maybe even more so with the movies um so yeah this to me is just it just seems really bizarre now simon pegg has made some really good points in, in defense of his decision because obviously he's one of the writers of the new film but he points out that if they'd have just brought in a new character as George Takai said he would have preferred, if they just brought in a new character and made that character gay, then that character would be defined primarily by the fact that he is gay. Whereas if you take uh, an existing character, then you've already got this inbuilt kind of perception with people of who that person is. Um, so. You know, they've already done heroic things, they've already been defined by the other things they've done in their life, rather than just the fact that they're gay. Um, uh, yeah, so, to me that's a fair point, you know, it, it's, as, as Simon Pegg put it, to do it the other way around, to bring a new character in, would that, would that not just be tokenism? Um, and and I, I agree. Now, I'm sure a lot of Star Trek fans may spit the dummy out over this, because they particular perception of who Sulu is for so many years, but isn't it true that so many people that we know who, who didn't know they were gay or they were never outed, so to speak, only to be outed later, it, it become, then it becomes a thing, you know, it's like, so why not with Sulu? Um, it's not beyond reason to think that actually he, you know, he's not bothered telling people about this. But that being said, given the time in which this series of films, the TV show as well, was set in, in which you know equality was the big thing, it wouldn't be a big deal anyway, would it? Sulu wouldn't go around talking about it. It wouldn't be this thing that defines who he is more than anything else because they're living in a time where actually they've got over those hurdles. That's no longer a thing. Uh, but yeah, I, I just... <laughs> To me, it's not an issue. It really isn't an issue. Uh, it, it makes sense. If you're going to make a character gay, why not um, make Sulu that person? Um, yeah, but what are your thoughts? Does, does this change things for you with regards to your love or liking of Star Trek? Um, does it shape things in a different light that maybe you don't like? Or is it just a non-entity, the way, the way it is, I guess, with with most people I would imagine um, yeah comment below let me know um, until next time thanks for watching